हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर सविता फ्रॉम महाराजा अग्रसेन यूनिवर्सिटी बद्दी हिमाचल प्रदेश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन मॉड्यूल नेटवर्क एनालिसिस फ्रॉम पेपर आंतरप्रन्योरशिप डेवलपमेंट एंड प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट After completing this module, you will be able to understand the concept of network analysis, the importance of network analysis. You are also able to understand the classification of network techniques and the concepts of PART and CPM. You also able to know about the similarities between PART and CPM. project formulation and project implementations are two essential functions of project management project formulation ensures the scientific selection of a project whereas project implementation ensures an optimum allocation of time and resources to the project activities all project design should have contain five elements it should systematically formulates and describe each of the basic elements that is inputs activities outputs efforts and impact project design should start with defining the desired impact so we work from the top down that is what effects are needed to achieve the desired impact what outputs are needed to achieve the desired effects and so on as it is seen in the diagram projects should follow this hierarchy the lowest level in the hierarchy is inputs like finances raw material human resources and time all projects perform various activities like communication training organization construction and management these activities convert inputs into outputs and all the activities are carried out for the output of goods and services project management is very tough as well as challenging task with many complex responsibilities luckily many tools and techniques are available to support the tasks and performing the responsibilities efficiently some requires computer knowledge whereas other can be used manually it is a duty of the project managers to choose a proper project management tool that best suits to their management style no one tool can serve all project management needs project design and network analysis are important tools for effective implementation of the project they are very useful for development of a detailed work plan of the project and project time profile a project consists of a number of activities it it is examined in detail and details are utilized to compile the series wise explanation of the constituent activities of a project the compilation is known as the project logic when it is presented in the form of a graphical presentation it is called the network importance of network analysis or network techniques a project has divided into many small activities and these activities can be analyzed 
विद द हेल्प ऑफ नेटवर्क टेक्निक टू अचीव द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट नेटवर्क एनालिसिस हेल्प्स मैनेजमेंट टू मिनिमाइज द टोटल कोस्ट एंड टोटल मेंटेनेंस टाइम विद द यूज ऑफ नेटवर्क एनालिसिस कोस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कैन बी मिनिमाइज थ्रू रिड्यूसिंग द मेंटेनेंस टाइम नेटवर्क एनालिसिस एंश्योर्स द इफेक्टिव यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेस it also ensures the optimal use of resources and help to control the idle resources so that project can be effectively executed within the budgeted course and schedule time network analysis facilitates coordination among the activities as well as the persons responsible for project time management plays a crucial role in every project time management plays a crucial role in every project sometimes available resources have to be arranged with a view to reduce the total time for the project rather than reducing the cost of the project network analysis helps the manager to manage activities without any delay network analysis is great tool which helps in planning scheduling and controlling the activities of the project classification of network techniques there are number of network techniques which is used by the various people according to their purpose the main techniques are given below cpm it is popularly known as critical path method critical path method is a project management tool used to formulate a time frame for a project in order to determine where potential delays are most likely to take place but the program evaluation and review technique is basically a scheduling technique it helps project manager in planning scheduling monitoring evaluating and controlling large and complex projects it is probabilistic model and introduces uncertainties in project network jert the graphical evaluation and review technique is a new technique and superior over the above mentioned techniques in this analysis only simulations can be used lob it is known as line of balance technique line of balance is a graphical technique to show the progress achieved during the project with the help of key events part cost it is an extension of the part technique to cover the cost of project it is not only helpful to plan the completion of project within a specific time but also within a specific cost wasp it is known as workshop analysis scheduling program this method is propounded by the british energy authority though there are several techniques but the most commonly used network techniques are pert and cpm which will be discussed in detail project program evaluation and review technique which is generally popular as pert is a sophisticated and a fairly new tool used by the management for planning and control in the case of special project it is primarily a scheduling technique it shows any project or job as a set of processes of operations called 
activities which must take place in a certain sequence. It involves diagrammatic presentation of activities and events involved in a long term project. The diagrammatic presentation is known as network drawing or network technique and these techniques are most commonly used in project management. Part was developed in 1958 as a result of collaboration between the Operational Research Division of the United States Navy and a team of management consultant known as Booz Allen and Hamilton. It was developed as a management tool to aid for completing Polaris Ballistic Missile Project which had 250 prime contractors and over 9000 subcontractors engaged in research, development, construction, testing and production of missiles, guidance system and maintenance system. Since then, it has been adopted by many enterprises in different industries. So, part schedules the sequence of activities to be completed in order to accomplish the project within a short period of time. Basic objective of PERT is to control time. The execution of project becomes very difficult when long times involved in the planning and scheduling of the project because it involved lot of complexities and interrelated activities. So, for the successful implementation of the project, project manager is to take some important decisions such as estimation of resource requirement, time for each activity and maintaining interrelationship amongst the activities. Thus, each project involves various decisions about what is the expected completion time of project, what will be the effect of any delay on the activity or project, what type of additional resources needed if project has to be completed before schedule time, what is the probability of completing the project in time. Part is helpful to the project manager for taking decisions about these questions. It is a technique which helps project manager in planning, scheduling, monitoring, evaluating and controlling large and difficult projects. In simple words, we can say that projects whose time duration of activities is not exactly known but is used. It depends upon three time estimates of activities. In part, these three estimates of time are given below. The most optimistic time, TO. The minimum time that would be required to perform the activity if everything goes extremely well, the chance of such an optimum activity actually takes place is 1 in 100. The most likely time, TM. The length of time that will in all probability be required to perform the job under the given circumstances or normal circumstances. The most pessimistic time, TP. This is the longest or maximum probable time involved if everything that might logically go wrong does actually go wrong. It includes time for unusual days or unforeseen circumstances. The chances of its happening 
might also be one in hundred or very less. With the help of above these mentioned time estimates, that is optimistic time, most likely time and pessimistic time, average expected time for each activity would be determined. Average expected time of the activity is equal to TO plus 4TM plus TP whole divided by 6. Now, let's discuss procedure followed in part. First of all, the network of activities is drawn to indicate what activity follows what. Then, estimation of time to complete each activity is noted on the network. Estimation of minimum time taken to complete the project. Next, identification of critical activities and allocation of resources so that project can be completed in time. Calculation of project variability duration and profitability of the project in given period. In order to complete project in time closer watch on critical and other activities. Advantages of PERT It is very helpful in determine the schedule for a project within time limit. It helps the management to optimum allocation of resources for the project. It helps in taking right decision for the projects at a right time. It is very helpful in determine the expected duration of activities. It helps the management in handling the uncertainties involved in the project. It helps the management to reduce the risk element in the project. It suggests area of increasing efficiency, decreasing cost and maximizing profits. It helps in coordinating the various activities involved in a project. It enables the use of statistical analysis. It enables a manager to know in advance where the trouble may occur, where more supervision needed and where resources may be transferred to keep the project on schedule. Limitations of PERT Although PERT have many advantages, but it also suffers from certain limitations. These are PERT emphasis only on time. It ignores the cost of a project. It cannot be useful for programs that are indefinite and vague. Assumption of normal probability distribution is not true. It doesn't consider the matter of resources required for various types of activities of a project. It seems to be simple, but in reality, its application is too complex. It is not practicable for routine planning of recurring events. CPM Critical Path Method Another important method of networking is Critical Path Method. Critical Path Method was developed in 1956-7 at the E.I. Dupent, Neumer and Company, USA in connection with the periodic overhauling and maintenance of a chemical plant. Critical path method basically is a special application of analysis for planning and scheduling. Critical path method was basically developed with the objective of reducing duration 
and cost of the project. Critical path method is a special application of network analysis. It uses network analysis for scheduling, production, construction, projects as well as research and development activities. It is also useful in situations which require estimates of time and performance. Critical path method deals with repetitive type projects such as overhaul of generating plant, such as overhauling of generating plant, which has to be carried repeatedly after set time intervals. The critical path is the overall time it will take to complete the project. It is the longest path in time through the network. In other words, the longest path in the network is called critical path. Identifying the critical path is of great importance as it determines the duration of entire project. Critical path method differentiates between the planning and scheduling of the project. A critical path method is a very important project management tool used to formulate a time frame for a project in order to determine where potential delays are most likely to occur. The process includes a step-by-step -step process that provides the developer with a visual representation of potential bottleneck throughout the course of the project. Identification of the critical path. Project critical path is the longest time path through the network. The path can be identified by determining the following parameters for each activity. Earliest start time for activity that is ES. It is the earliest possible time at which the activity should start if only the ongoing activities are first completed. Earliest finish time EF. It is the earliest possible time to finish the activity. It is equal to the earliest start time for activity plus the time required completing the activity. Latest possible finish time for activity LF. It is the latest time at which the activity can be completing without any postpone or within the time framework. Latest possible start time for activity that is LS. It is the latest start time for an activity and equal to the latest finish time minus the time required to complete the activity. Slack time. Slack time is the difference between earliest start time for activity and latest start time for activity or between earliest finish time for activity and latest finish time for activity. Now, we will understand it with the help of following example. Here, the information regards the job involved in the project with their time duration. Now, we have to find out the earliest possible time for completing the project. Job A has given activity 1 to 2 and the time duration is 6 days. Job B has the activity of 2 to 4 and the time duration is 4 days. Job C has the activity 2 to 3 and the time duration is 5 days. Job D has the activity 3 to 4 
एंड टाइम ड्यूरेशन हैज फोर डेज जॉब ई एक्टिविटी हैज फोर टू फाइव एंड टाइम ड्यूरेशन हैज सेवन डेज देर इज अ टोटल टाइम ड्यूरेशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स डेज इन दिस डायग्राम द जॉब्स हैव बीन शोन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एरोज लीडिंग फ्रॉम वन सर्कल टू अनदर in simple words the arrow connecting circle 1 and 2 represents job a and so on all the activities have been reduced to a network diagram together with the information as regard to time required for the completion of different jobs in this diagram there are two paths the first connect circles 1 2 4 and 5 and takes 17 days the second path connect circles 1 2 3 4 and 5 and takes 22 days the longest path called the critical path takes 22 days and hence the minimum time required to complete the project will be 22 days so in order to complete the project within stipulated time attention will have to be given to this path since any delay in time on any job or activity in this path will delay the completion of the project in case the completion time is to be reduced steps will have to be taken to reduce the time required for various activities of this path advantages of critical path method the following are the advantages of cpm it is very useful for scheduling and controlling of large projects it is simple concept and not mathematically complex it is very helpful in pinpoint activities that needed to be closely watched in cpm project documentation and graphics point out who is responsible for various activities it is applicable to a wide variety of projects it is very useful in monitoring schedules and codes it makes better and detailed planning possible it is helpful at many stages of project management it enables standard method for communicating project plans schedules time and cost performance with the help of cpm most critical activities are identified and thus more attention can be paid to these activities for the successful completion of project it ignores to incorporate statistical analysis in determining the time estimates it is presumed in cpm that there is precise known time that each activity in the project will take but in reality it is not happen basically it developed as a static planning model and not as a dynamic controlling device so it cannot be used as a dynamic controlling device now let's discuss similarities between pert and cpm pert and cpm both are the networking techniques both are the important tools of project implementation there are some similarities between pert and cpm these are both pert and cpm have the same procedure and network diagrams are used in both the techniques both pert and cpm are used to determine the earliest 
as well as the latest start and finish times for each activity. Both PART and CPM techniques help management to plan, schedule and control the project. All significant tasks and activities are defined in the project by both the techniques. The networking principles used in both the techniques is more or less the same. Comparison between PART and CPM Although both techniques share some common characteristics, yet there are some differences between them. Origin The origin of PART is military organization whereas Origin of CPM is chemical plant, that is industry. Uncertainty. In part, estimates are uncertain, whereas in CPM does not allow any uncertainty. Nature. Part is used for non-repetitive jobs, whereas CPM is used for repetitive jobs. Time or cost. Part stressed on time-based concept, whereas CPS, whereas CPM stresses on cost-based concept. Part is probabilistic model, whereas CP CPM is deterministic model. Time estimates. Part has three time estimates, whereas CPM has only one single estimate of Time. Critical activities or dummy activities. In part, critical activities is not used, whereas in CPM, dummy activities is not used. Suitability. Part is suitable where high precision is required in time estimates, such as defense projects, whereas CPM is suitable where reasonable precision is required such as civil construction, event or activity. Part is an event oriented whereas CPM is an activity oriented. Now students, let's summarize what we have learned from this module. Project formulation ensures the scientific selection of a project, whereas project implementation ensures an optimal allocation of time and resources to the project activities. Project management is very tough as well as challenging task with many complex responsibilities. Many tools and techniques are available to support the task and performing the uh, responsibilities efficiently. Project design and network analysis are important tools for effective implementation of the project. They are very useful for development of a detailed work plan of the project and project time profile. A project consists of a number of activities. It is examined in detail and details are utilized to compile the series-wise explanations of the constituent activities of the project. The compilation is known as the project logic when it is presented in the form of graphical presentation. It is called the network. Network analysis is a successful technique regularly used to plan, monitor and control the projects involving thousands of activities. There are basic Two applications of network analysis that is PART and CPM. PART deals with the activities whose duration is not exactly known 
and CPM is the longest time path through the network.